to ground soft, mainly in the north. It's really once we get to Thursday night onwards that the really frosty weather will begin to take hold over a much larger area. And the changes are put because these changes in the weather pattern. Low pressure, certainly in abundance to start off with, but that low will slowly begin to move away through towards the north. It'll become rather flabby as well, so the showers and rain around it will become much more disorganised and there'll be fewer showers anyway. And as we move into Wednesday, and particularly into Thursday, a ridge of high pressure will build over us, bringing that change to clearer skies, slowly but surely. Now this next weather system here could be rattling in from the west later on, Friday being cloud and even a little rain, but at the moment it looks like it will just be out over Ireland by the end of Friday. Lots of clouds swirling around on the satellite pictures with the radar mixed in here for this morning. Some rain moving away from northeastern England, still over northwest England, some heavy rainfall over Wales, and some very squally, thundery showers down over the southern counties of England as well. Those showers continue to work their way northeastwards as we go through the morning. And it's only later on this afternoon that the showers will begin to die away again from the west. At the same time, the strong near gale force southwesterly winds will also begin to ease the touch. Northern Ireland rather cloudy with showery rain moving in from the north and fairly cloudy skies with showers over most of northwest England as well. Temperatures will be up to uh, double figures in many areas but of course those gusty winds and those heavy showers will knock the temperature right back when they blow through. Uh, tonight there will still be showers in the southern and western coastal areas and rolling in across central Britain too but to the north and from the Midlands eastwards here, clear spells of weather will allow temperatures just in a few places down to uh, ground frost levels. And then showers again moving east, though not as many for tomorrow. Most of the showers will be in the west, which is where we'll find them pegged back to on Tuesday and Wednesday as well, with brighter skies in the east beginning to come through. But fog and that early frost beginning to become a problem, particularly from Thursday into Friday, where in some places the fog could linger, keeping it pretty chilly. Fairly pleasant though, and the sun's out.